Hi guys, I'll probably join this up with another video. So today is Wednesday, it's the day after I recorded saying that I was bleeding. It's got progressively worse guys. No cramping, no clots of blood, but I'm bleeding like, I'm bleeding like I'm on AF. I'm really emotional. I've had all the tears. My husband's trying to be like, don't worry, we'll try again. But at the moment, it's sort of still sinking in and I, I remember vaguely being like this last time you sort of as soon as you pee on that stick you do get your hopes up and I had reservations because of what my tarot card reader said so it was in the back of my mind obviously anyhow my midwife friend Mandy was so sweet she popped in on her way home yesterday and look, sort of gave me a hug and sort of asked what was happening and I said it went from light bleeding to a really heavy flow bright cherry red there's no clots I've got no cramping um, my boobs are still a little bit sore. She said, well, symptoms will still stay with you, like the HCG will still give a positive pregnancy test, so it's best not that I test for a couple of days at least. But she sort of said, if you test in a few days' time and the HCG's a faint line, or maybe it reads two to three weeks or one to two, that will give you your answer. But because I want a TTC almost straight away, again... Um, I do want to grieve, obviously, and I want to get over this, but I don't want to wait around. Um, my husband and I don't want a massive age gap between the last one and this baby. So, yeah, so the plan of action is I've, she asked me to ring our clinic, our early scanning pl clinic, and thank you so much for your comments. It's been lovely. A lot of you recommended sort of phoning them direct. I got the okay from my midwife and she said to ring them. So I rang them this morning. They said it sounds very much like a miscarriage even though I'm not clotting, even though I'd probably be six going on seven weeks. It sounds like it is a miscarriage, like almost 90%. But um, I explained that it was just that I was a little bit worried and anxious because I didn't want to sort of treat it as a period and then have stuff left inside me still. Um, and then that causes infection and stops me from trying again. Equally, I don't want to really go outside the house because at the moment it's. I can say I put on a new pad like 20 minutes ago and I'm filling up already. I can feel it. So like even walking down to the school or the shops is going to make me feel on edge. So I just really want to sort of sit a couple of days indoors, get this over and done with. But I would like a scan just to say, yep, yeah, you've miscarried. I'm really sorry, but yep, yeah, you've got to get better, have a period and go for... TTCing or no there's still some bits inside you or I just want to know where I am because I still feel in limbo my friend's coming around in a minute for a coffee and a chat with me and she's going through exactly the same but she had her last panty liner with a little bit of brown in yesterday and she had all of this last week really heavy bleeding but she passed black jelly clots and the EPAC unit the early pregnancy acute clinic which do early scanning basically said to her to sit it out with period panty liners and sanitary towels and take paracetamol so that's exactly what she's done and she's very in control now she went through like three or four days of real emotions and now she's sort of no last night she goes I had a glass of wine last night sat with Steve her husband had a good old chat and she said I'm gonna have literally a week of getting on top of things and she's going for it again and oh I just wish I could see that at the moment. I'm really upset. Oh. I know, God willing, it'll happen. And I know this is just crappy emotions. So I've just messaged my midwife friend again. I don't want to burden her. She's such a lovely lady. She's my friend anyhow. And yes, she's a midwife, which is great. But I know she's so busy and she's got her own family and they've just had newborn babies and she's got a lot on her mind personal anyway. And she works so bloody hard. But I've just messaged her. Could you give me a referral? Or should I go to my GP? Because a nurse will kindly ring me and give me some advice and that nurse will see what I'm going through and then assess whether I need a scan. I mean, I'd rather not have a scan if I'm going to pass, but I just, I, I want that scan if I don't, I, I'm thinking that by six and a half, seven weeks, I should have like a little bit of clotting. That's what I'm worried about. I don't want to sort of go out of the house in three days' time and pass a massive clot in the toilet. If you ladies have had this, please comment down below because when I miscarried before, I had no blood. My symptoms just stopped at like six, seven weeks. Well, no, seven weeks. I went in for a... 
can't remember now. It must have been my, I had a scan at six weeks. It was all healthy. Went back for my 12, 13 week scan and the baby had died around nine, 10 gestation. But I had no bleeding, no cramps. And then I had to be sort of put out and they su suctioned it all, you know, when I was under anaesthetic. And so I knew I was good to go. I knew that I had to have a period and then I could start trying. And that's exactly what I did. Some people don't wait for a period, they just go for it. But today on the phone, she said, look, I know you're eager to get this assessed so you can go forward but the thing is it's good to have a period and get your body back because we call it muddy waters where we haven't got a clear base of knowing when you were pregnant from so she said my advice to you is sit it out for a day or two get a referral from a gp or your midwife we'll assess you on the phone and if we need to do a scan we will but i'm just thinking it's a lot of time do you know what i mean that's what i'm thinking i'm just don't want to wait around and mo i'm emotional today i was emotional yesterday i'm hoping in the next day or two i'll be upbeat my husband has said, we will try, don't worry, we will try. I love you all. Please like this video, subscribe and please comment down below. I love you all and I will definitely do another video soon and let you know whether I had that scan and how it's going. Love to you all and baby dust. Bye. Hi guys, um, an update from yesterday. So I'm just going to piece all these together when I know what's completely what. But... I feel a little bit more upbeat in my emotions today, as in not as tearful. But yesterday I did not stop bleeding and then at about half past one, two o'clock, I felt a little bit of tummy ache and I went to the loo and in my liner, my sanitary liner, there was a gloop and it didn't look good at all. I took a photo, I'm not gonna put it on because I think some of you might get a bit offended. It might be a bit TMI and I really don't wanna lose any of my subscribers or upset any of you. It was like a big gloop of a dark, ready, jelly sort of tissue, I suppose. And then when I sort of zoomed in on the photo, it was a little bit of white, like a V-shaped white. There was a, it looked to me like I'd miscarried the whole th entire thing. Um, but I don't know. I'm still in my heart thinking, could there still be something there? Could it have been a twin and I was pregnant with twins? You sort of cling on, but in my head now, I think I've thought, do you know what? Perhaps it's a blessing that it's gone the entirety, so I'm not going to have an infection. My midwife was so lovely. She's amazing. She referred me to the, um, EPU clinic, um, the early pregnancy unit and they got me uh they've got me an appointment for tomorrow morning they've just telephoned and i've just told them what happened my flow now of blood is medium so it's gone from soaking a sanitary towel every literally every hour i've been up now like three hours and i'm on my second one so i've still got a medium flow of blood so i'd say if this was my pit this is like a period now my first day of my period that's how I'd describe it. Whereas yesterday I was like, oh my goodness. I was literally sitting chatting to my friend and I said, oh my God, it's coming out. I can feel when I sort of laughed or if I stood up or if I sat down, I could just feel it was just gushing. Um, and I got through about 10 big thick sanitary towels yesterday. And like I say, once I passed the gloop or clot or however you want to describe it, it was still heavy, but I wouldn't say really gushy. It's just been like in the night, I've only, I literally got up at one o'clock in the morning and put a fresh pad on and the other one was at eight o'clock after my shower. So, sorry, I'm holding it like this cause it's quite bright in my bedroom. Um, so yeah, I've got a scan tomorrow at 11.40. I've just spoken to a lovely lady called Katrina at the early pregnancy clinic and I did tell her what's happened. I said I've been, I was tearful all day yesterday, no cramping, but I passed this gloop. She says it sounds like it has passed, but we probably will do just a quick internal scan or maybe just a tummy scan just to make sure there's no debris, you know, not debris, that's a horrible word, but any fetal tissue inside because my main priority is I just want to get healthy guys so that my husband and I can TTC straight away because I don't want to sound careless or flippant but I don't want to waste time because my little girl's going to be three in December and it really works out that there'll be a three year age gap if I leave it too long and I don't want that. I want it to be as close as possible so if we get cracking there could be a two year 11 month age gap because 
if I get a period out of the way, I can start trying. And if I, God willing, fall very quickly, I still might have a November baby or even a December baby. I really would like it really, This I don't want it to go on. I just desperately want a baby and I know it's not good to be desperate, but for me, it's the time scale. If my children were all very close in age and it was very young, you know, like if they were six, four and two, I might wait, but because of my eldest being 13, I don't want to leave it too long. So today I couldn't do a lot because I've got the dentist this morning and I'm still not feeling 100%. I'm still a bit emotional today. And although I can actually get up and walk around, I don't feel comfortable to sort of go out shopping and all bubbly. I'm not in that mood or frame of mind. So my mum's going to quickly take me to the dentist and then I'm going to just do the housework and chill out at the house. And then tomorrow go for this scan and then once I know what's what at least I can think right I've got the weekend to prep myself get myself all clean and happy and begin the week fresh and a new beginning or I mean miraculously they might say oh you've passed a twin and there's a healthy baby inside or goodness we don't know what that was the baby's got a heartbeat but I am 99% I've had a miscarriage I'm sort of judging by how I feel, what I've seen and my tarot cards. Them three things are in perspective now. So that is what I'm thinking, ladies and guys. And please like and subscribe this video. I just want to be raw and true to you of how I'm feeling. I don't always look nice when I do these videos. I know that there might be clutter on my floors and things like that. I, but I just want you to know I'm a real person going through these horrible, horrible emotions. <sighs> I had lots of tears yesterday, but I don't feel as tearful today. I just feel disappointed and flat. And I keep looking at my pram and thinking, oh, well, sort of the pram box. But that's all put away now anyway. And onwards and upwards, I'm going to get the scan done tomorrow. Hopefully there'll be no infection and I can make my plans. But I'll add that little bit on after, I think. Or I might just upload this and then let you know how I get on. But guys, it's not good. I've had very heavy bleeding, past now quite a substantial sized. It was about the size of a 50 pence English piece um, or a 10p piece, you know, it's about that in size. And then, like I say, I looked closely. When I took a photo and wrapped it up and put it in a nappy bag and put it in the bin because I didn't want to look at it too long. But I took a photo and it was very, very tissue-like. And my friend thinks I've passed it in whole, whereas she's had little spits and spots of black jelly and brown and things like that. I've just had gushings and this has come out and I've had no tissue or anything other than that. It's now a medium flow pad that I've got on. Well, I've got a heavy pad on, but I'm medium flow. So yeah, this will be day three of my miscarriage, I guess. But I will let you know how I get on at the early scanning unit, but I'll tag that onto the next video. Thank you so much for all your love and all your comments. And I love hearing about your news and your comments and I wish you all the best. And I love you TTCers. Please like and subscribe for free to my channel because I will let you know how I'm getting on and we will have fun and I'm hopefully get a baby at the end. I love you all and baby dust to you all. Thank you so much for following me. Bye.